To start off the weekend, I'm going on a day trip with my family. We're driving two hours from Vancouver to see some tulips. Unlike Metro Vancouver, the rest of the province is pretty rural and bare. Unfortunately, the weather today wasn't the greatest. We were just at the edge of some very heavy clouds. We were greeted with a circle of tulips at the main entrance of the festival. There were also some purple flowers surrounding them. I'm very excited to see the rest of the festival. It brightened up here and there, but for the most part, it was cloudy and cold. Right behind the main entrance are these beautiful red tulips. There were just rows and rows of it. There were also various photo props around the pathways. These pink flowers were really nice, but most of them were horizontal, which puzzled me. Perhaps they were exposed to wind for a long time. The festival also had these staircases so that you can see the flowers from above. I love how color coordinated everything is. Moving on to the other side of the field, we saw more of these horizontal pink flowers. By the way, if you ever plan on going to these flower festivals, make sure to wear waterproof shoes and shorter pants. I did the former, but I wore light-colored pants and they got so dirty. Walking these paths was dreamlike. The mountains in the background made it more immersive. Once we walked all the tulip paths, we went to check out the farm shop. They had sunflower seeds, plant pots, the names of all the tulips on the walls, some fresh cut tulips, and some other souvenirs. They were really pretty, but I didn't end up buying anything. The last section of this festival is the secret garden. I'm assuming they created this area for photo ops in a less crowded area. They also had different kinds of flowers. The flowers were really vibrant here as well. They did have some interesting decor though. Overall, this place was worth visiting and I had a great time looking at the flowers despite the gloomy weather. Once we left Agassiz, we went to Harrison for lunch. I actually traveled here with my family during the winter of 2022 for the hot springs and such. Apparently, we also went together when I was a kid but I forgot everything. We settled with this pho place. Fortune size is bigger than I thought, but I ate it all since it's my favorite food on rainy days. After lunch, we window shopped and tried to walk by the side of the lake. However, it was too windy and cold, so we went back to the car. Harrison Lake was pretty though. To end off the day trip, we visited a blueberry farm in Langley on our way back. I've never seen alpacas in real life, let alone fed one. Once 
they got full, they stopped eating. Afterwards, we got to check out their store. They had a bunch of alpaca dolls made with real alpaca fur. I loved how they were scattered around the store. Besides looking around, they had some samples for us to try. The blueberry drink was too sour for me though. They also had some honey samples. They all tasted good, but I especially liked the honey and lemon one. I ended up buying a jar and I plan to make some honey water at home to drink. My mom also bought some honey for herself and a friend. When I went back out, there was a funny dog who can walk on two legs. The dog was very gentle and nice. On the way out of the farm, we saw a number of horses. The last time I saw a horse was back in Seattle. I believe blueberry season starts in the summer, so we didn't pick any today. It's always so sad when a trip draws to a close, but I had such a fun day trying new things and hang out with my family. On Sunday, I went to Jumbo Jib for lunch. I always see the restaurant, but I haven't tried it yet. Everything looks so tasty. They gave us a number of side dishes. I've never tried sorong tang before, so I ordered one. I also got an LA kairbi, some fried chicken, and some sukbur tweji moksar. Out of all the side dishes, my favorite is the potato. I didn't expect the soup to be so bland. I added some salt and pepper, and it was still pretty flavorless. This soup is meant to complement side dishes such as kimchi. Despite its lack of flavor, I drank a generous amount. This place is pretty old-fashioned, but I highly recommend it. In the afternoon, I went to Metro Town to watch a movie. I really enjoyed watching the first three Kung Fu Panda movies, so I was really looking forward to watching the fourth. However, the movie ended up being more of a cash grab. The Furious Five barely showed up and the pacing of the movie was too quick. I swear that the villain got defeated in like one second. I also felt like there were too many filler scenes than necessary. There wasn't even a secret scene after the movie. It was still a fun watch, but definitely the weakest link in the movie series. Afterwards, I went to Lush to pick up a bath bomb. I really like the look of these peach bath bombs. Spoilers, but I'm actually leaving for a trip tomorrow, which is why I bought it. My hands were so glittery after I touched the bath bomb. My last stop in the mall is the Lululemon store. I've been meaning to get a new yoga mat. Initially, I thought of getting a black one since it might get dirty quickly, but I took a risk and I got this light purple one. These days, I've been rewatching Extraordinary You since Lovely Runner just came out. I also microwaved my takeout from Jam Mojiv. I also cooked a bit of carrots to eat. When the majority of my takeouts are meat, I always like to cook some vegetables on the side. Like I said earlier, I'm leaving for my trip tomorrow. Not the best idea, but I actually started packing tonight. I already packed all my clothes, but I packed some jewelry as well as my contacts. I also packed my perfume. I would have brought my Prada one, but it's made out of glass. No matter where I go, I must have my sleeping mask with me. At the beginning, I wasn't used to wearing sleeping masks, but it grew on me. During the trip, I also have a hiking day, so I brought some sunscreen. I didn't record this earlier, but since we're traveling by car, I bought some snacks for the trip. I'm looking forward to sharing my trip with you all in my next video. These Japanese gummies are also really good. They're more sweet than I usually like, but I just can't stop eating them. Thanks for taking along with me during my weekend. Make sure to check out my previous videos and look forward to any new ones. See you next time. Bye!